hate window seats because if you want to like go to the washroom or like go out and do you know a couple stretches here and there you're not going to be able to because i am so upset because i forgot that roll of the rim started Through the security checkpoint and now I'm just walking to my gate so what happened with the seat was that they obviously overbooked the flight and then um, they said they ran out of seats quote-unquote and then basically they want to find me a seat quote-unquote and um, they did find me a seat but they gave me a window seat and I hate window seats because if you want to like go to the washroom or like go out and do you know, a couple stretches here and there, you're not gonna be able to because you are kind of stuck like at the window and then like no one's gonna let you out of their seats if they're sleeping, right? So I don't know, like I was like trying really hard to convince him to like go look for another seat, but he wasn't budging. He just he just didn't give a damn anymore. So I'm like, okay, you know what, whatever, like not like I have a choice. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I think they're cleaning the carpets. But yeah, I'm just walking to the gate now. And apparently we are the last play of the day in the airport. Oh no, never mind, they're fixing the ceiling, that's what they're doing. So I had to say goodbye to Aaron and that was really sad. Every time I leave I just like I wish he could come too because I really want to show him Taiwan because Taiwan's just the place that like I'm so proud of and I just want him to kind of like get to know like where I spend a lot of my time and you know all the good food and everything. So hopefully next time he can come with me. I had to switch hands because my left hand got, or my left arm got tired. Oh, it's so loud. So yeah, now just walking to the gate, it seems like a very far, like, journey. I don't know. Apparently we're supposed to board at 12.30. And it's probably already 12.30, but whatever. It's a late flight and like they know that I'm here because clearly they checked me in at the counter. So yeah, I should be okay. I'm not too worried about it. Okay, there are a couple of people in front, so I'm gonna try to like, speed past them. So guess what? I took a little peek at who they were. It was the same freaking guy at the chicken counter that didn't find me an aisle seat. Oh my gosh. I really don't like him. So like so like the whole time I was speaking English to him and I think he just assumed I didn't understand Mandarin because he was talking to the lady behind him saying like, oh, we're out of seats, what are we gonna do? Or like, oh, like should I even go and find her another seat? Like, I'm like, seriously, that is so freaking rude. Like, you can't just assume people don't speak that language if they're speaking another, like, you know what I mean? Although I did do a prank with my friend Nancy in Taiwan once. It was hilarious, I bet. But I guess that story is for another time. And here is the duty free. This is where people spend a lot of money and a lot of time. My gate should be right here. Like I remember, like because it's always the same gate. Ooh, Starbucks. Oh, and they're not open. I was surprised duty free still open. Oh yeah, I remember. So apparently duty free opens until one o'clock. Okay, so I want to show you guys something. This is really cool. So when you come to this terminal, especially like gates around the E 70s, 80s area, you see this thing, right? And most people don't understand what this is. It's a huge sculpture, but it actually is, um, it's like a sound thing. So if you stand right here and someone else stands right there, if they talk to each other, they just have to whisper and they can hear each other's voices, which is really cool. But yeah, obviously I'm not going to do it by myself because who's going to whisper to me? It's so echoey in here. Like, it's like a surround sound system. So I'm on that side. Oh, my gate's right there. Hmm, should I get some alcohol? Alcohol sounds good. So I'm right in front of Tim Hortons. And I'm very tempted to get something. But I decided not to because I already got my steep tea this morning and... That's like enough Timmy's for the day. And honestly, 
I am so upset because I forgot that roll up the rim started. So I threw out my cup without rolling up the rim. Like, man, what if it was a car? Probably wasn't, but you know. All those what ifs in my head. Hopefully the flight goes well and I can sleep well because I feel so tired from this weekend. I'm actually losing my voice right now. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah. I'll probably um, edit some vlogs on the plane and maybe do a little bit of vlogging if the people next to me don't seem like they would judge me. <laughs> Hopefully everything goes well and probably talk to you on the plane. So I just got to my seat it's a very cramped flight so yeah I'm actually at like right at the front of the economy class. The other classes at the front they don't look that full so I don't know what they were saying when they said the flight was full. I already put my luggage in the overhead compartment and then I have my um, backpack under the seat and yeah I'm gonna just settle in like you know just get comfortable. Oh so I'm taking EVA Airways and like, I guess like people know this airline because like we have Hello Kitty planes.
because I'm really not feeling linguine or any type of fun pastas right now. Like I want something sort of Asian food. So my food is here now. I got the fish. Let's open it up. This is what it looks like. This is still nice and hot. and now I am lining up for customs. Man, my eye bags are like insane. I went through customs already. So now I'm at the uh, conveyor belt just waiting for my luggage to come out. It might take a while because I actually, like I'm one of the first people out of my flight to get through customs. So yeah, overall the flight was okay, but it was so tiring and um, there were crying babies, but somehow it didn't really affect me. Like I slept for the first half and then I woke up, I was a little hungry, had um, like a tuna sandwich snack and then after that I edited um, a vlog. Uh, I should contact my family and let them know that I'm here safe and sound. I should also call Aaron because I did tell him that I would. I feel so stupid so I was waiting at the wrong conveyor belt. I was just assuming like, oh EVA Airways, that's the one but then that flight was from Los Angeles. So now I'm at the right one and I see my luggage is coming. So some guy like saw me trying to load the stuff and then he like helped me and he was like oh my gosh it's actually a little bit heavy so yeah I am now on my way out
just gonna wait outside. I told them I'm at like 26. So I'm gonna wait here. And hopefully they can find me. It's actually not even cold here. And then everyone was telling me to pack thick jackets. Like what the frick? Like not even cold, not even one bit. Oh, I think that's my brother. Oh, this is so hard to push. I hate these carts. The ones that like you have to press down or else it'll be on break. Okay, no, not my brother. So waiting. Oh, I'm always super paranoid when I'm with like all my luggage. Because I want to make sure that no one is uh Oh they're here, they're here! They're here! 